Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class. That is English for Grade 3. We are learning Unit 8. Its title is Grandpa's Garden. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation and worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is, or modify it for your convenience. So, my dear students, today under the title of grammar, we are going to learn about prepositions. Before this, in English for grade 2, you have learned about position words. I hope you remember. If not, you may watch this video lecture again. And uh, on page number 21 of your book, we have learned about prepositions before this. Remember? I hope yes. If not, you may watch this video lecture again. And we are going to learn further to recognize and use words, for example, with, in, over, at, from, into, and out of, etc. This is our today's SLO. Let's start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah mentions in Quran Surah Al-Mulk verse 19, Do they see the birds above them with wings outspread and sometimes folded in? Yes, my dear students, bit of what this beautiful verse is telling us. This beautiful verse is telling us that when we look around us, we find a lot of signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Many things which tell us there is a power and that power is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the example given in this verse is about the birds. When we find birds flying in the air, who is holding them in the air? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created them in a way that they can fly. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning, have you seen the birds above you? So whenever we find a sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we should glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanallah, Allahu Akbar, right? So alhamdulillah, everywhere we find the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now my dear students, look at this word above. This word is telling us the position of birds. We are standing here and the birds fly above us in the sky. So such type of words are known as position words. And in grammar, in the term of grammars, we know they are prepositions. Okay, now you tell me what is a preposition. We have learned it about it. So pause the video, answer this question and then come back. Yes, my dear students, I hope you could recall and tell to your teacher that prepositions are position words. And they describe a naming word's position, okay, or location comparative to an other naming word. Means there are two naming words and what is their position in comparison of each other? They tell us about that, okay. For example, Ali is sitting in the car. Now you see Ali and car, both are naming words. And this word in is telling us the position of Ali for this car, right? So Ali is sitting in the car. This is how better we tell the position of a naming word by using preposition, okay? Now, let's find out about different prepositions by telling the position of ball. There is a box and a ball. Where is the ball? In the box. So, how do we say the ball is in the box? Right? And if I say the ball is in, it is incomplete. That's why I have to use two naming words and the position word, preposition, tell us their position. The ball is in the box. Where is the ball now? It is on the box. Where is the ball now? It is under the box. And where is the ball now? It is next to the box. So these words in, under, on, next to are prepositions because these prepositions are telling us the position of ball. Where is the ball now? 
between the boxes. There are two boxes and ball is between the boxes. Where is the ball now? Among the boxes. Where is the ball now? In front of the box. And where is the ball now? It is behind the box. So all these words are prepositions. Okay. Where is the ball now? It is above the ball. Above the box. Where is the ball now? It is below the box. Where is it now? Near the box. And where it is now? It is far from the box. So all these are, which are telling us the position of ball, are prepositions. So this is how by using preposition according to the position or location of a naming word, we tell the position of naming word by using preposition. This is how we use prepositions. Are you clear? Okay, so now these are the examples from your book. I am sitting on a sofa. Okay. The shoes are under the bed. Now, this under is telling us the position of shoes. Where are they? They are under the bed. Now, let's practice it through an activity. What the activity is, it's very interesting activity. Teacher will take an object. For example, teacher may take a book or a pencil or a notebook, whatever she wants. We'll place this object at different places. For example, on the table, under the chair, teacher will keep changing the position of that object and students will tell the position of the object by using appropriate preposition. Pause the video, enjoy this activity and then come back. Yes, my dear students, are you done with it? Good job. Now let's practice it from your book. All of you open your book on page number 65. Here is question number nine. You have to fill in the blanks of this paragraph with the given preposition. So prepositions are given to you. You have to use the correct preposition to tell the position accordingly. All right. So pause the video, complete this task in your book. If you have any confusion or problem, raise your hand. Teacher kindly guide the children to reach to the answer. Don't tell them the answer directly. Make the child to understand to select the correct preposition, right? So pause the video, complete this task, and then come back. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. It's time for your homework. You will underline all the prepositions in this unit. Okay, page number 61. This is your homework. And here is a worksheet, my dear fellow teachers. This worksheet, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation links are given. You may click it, download it, and kindly provide a printed worksheet to students for practice. So what we have learned today, we learn to recognize and use words, for example, with, in, over, at, from, into, and, out, of, etc. Are we done with it? Yes. So that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lesson. Till the time, keep learning, keep practicing, take very good care of yourself. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.